because I, I named a, uh, the uh, Secretary of Defense, the black man, I named Katanji Brown, I mean, because of the people I've named. The campaign's money problems are incredibly serious right now. Uh, many donors have told us that they are simply no longer going to write checks so long as President Biden remains at the top of the ticket. And I was just speaking with a major Democratic donor who summed it up this way. They said, I don't know how you campaign with a broadening electoral map without money. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. I've never seen this strategy where you think you can win without money. Biden insisting he's not going anywhere, campaign insisting he's not going anywhere, campaign chief giving that interview this morning, despite the list of Democrats calling for him to step aside, obviously getting longer by the hour. Do you think these calls are now backfiring or not, Isaac? Well, they're backfiring in a way, and also it's important, it's been pointed out to me, that Joe Biden is experiencing what's happening in a different time frame than most of the rest of us. He was aware last week that Nancy Pelosi had a tough conversation with him because he was part of it. The rest of us only became aware of it this week with the CNN reporting about it. So he is factoring that stuff in not in a way that is, uh, as some have made it out, that he's just not paying attention to anything. He's paying attention to it. He just thinks that he has a lot of other information and data that's pointing him in a different direction, and also is always coming back to the fact that other people said he couldn't beat Donald Trump. Other people said that Hillary Clinton was the one to beat Donald Trump over him in 2016, and he thinks he's proven that, that his arguments wrong before, and he can again.